Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel today is going to be my spoiler free movie review for Creed 3. I'm a pretty big fan of the Creed franchise like I love Michael B. Jordan in the role of Adonis Creed. I think he's done a phenomenal job and the most exciting part about the third movie is the fact that he's actually directing it which is a big step for him. This is his directorial debut and I gotta say I think he did a great job. They also brought in Jonathan Majors as a childhood friend of Adonis named Dame and Jonathan Majors is crushing it guys like lately he's in almost like everything I swear we literally just saw him a couple of weeks ago in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania I think he was the standout in that movie and then I would say he's probably the standout in Creed 3 too like he had a fantastic performance so guys what is this movie about so essentially Adonis Creed he is retired he's had a fantastic career he wants to just settle down now and be with his family but then his childhood friend Dame gets out of jail and wants to take over the boxing world but wants to do it in a dirty way. So then Adonis Creed has to come out of retirement and fight him. That's all I can really say without giving away spoilers. So now let's talk about positives and negatives. So the first positive that I have is the story. It was a really emotional story like his childhood best friend Dame did something to prevent Adonis from going to jail but then that meant that Dame had to go to jail. So Dame spent 18 years in prison while Adonis is out here enjoying his life. He's winning titles, he's got the wife, he's got the daughter, the house, the cars and Dame James got nothing. He comes out of jail and he's like, damn, like this little kid that I used to hang out with has got all of this and I've got absolutely nothing. He essentially wants revenge. Like his friend wasn't there for him while he was in prison. He didn't even write him, call him, visit him, nothing. And what made me really like the Dame character is how much you can empathize with him. Like you truly feel for the guy and you want him to get his shot. And I like the way that they integrated the Dame and Adonis story. It was a few flashbacks every maybe like 20 or 30 minutes, just letting you know what happened in the past leading up to their confrontation in the present. But yeah, I just love the character of Dame. Like, he's definitely one of the best villains in the whole, like, Rocky Creed franchise. And Jonathan Majors is absolutely shredded in this movie. This guy is yoked. Whenever he took his shirt off and was fighting and stuff, I was like, damn, like, what the heck? Same with Michael B. Jordan. Both of these guys are in incredible shape. And me being a huge fitness fan myself, I was like, damn, like, the amount of work that they put into their physiques just for these roles was truly amazing. The next positive I have is the action scenes in the fights. They are very, very unique. I know a lot of you guys have probably heard already, but some of the interviews that Michael B. Jordan has been uh, invited to speak on, he always mentions that he took a lot of anime inspiration for a lot of the fight scenes in this movie, and you can definitely see it. Like, it's something unique, something a little bit different, and I really enjoyed it. Like, I'm a huge anime fan myself, so seeing that brought to a live-action boxing movie was actually really cool, and I think Michael B. Jordan pulled it off like a lot of the shots he did a lot of the slow-mos it was just something special and something that we're not used to seeing in a boxing movie and I just really liked the introduction to it in a live-action film the next positive is the performances of all of the actors everybody had a solid performance there was not one person where I was like eh, that wasn't too good everybody did a great job especially Jonathan Majors and Michael B Jordan of course the two main characters in the film but I gotta say Jonathan Majors man like he is crushing it I know I've said this already at the beginning of the video but his performance is just so captivating whenever he's on screen and there's a close-up on his face and everything you are like on the edge of your seat like he's that entertaining to watch another thing I'll say is that the visuals in this movie were actually really really good and since this is Michael B Jordan's first movie he's directing I was actually shocked by how good it looked like I thought you know oh I don't know like it's his first movie it might be a little bit uh, amateurish and not look as polished as some of the previous movies but Michael B Jordan did a great job and I'm excited to see what he directs in the future. My next positive is how good the conflict was between Adonis and Dame. This kind of plays into my story positive, but I just gotta say, like, I really believe the beef that these two guys had. There was, like, genuine hatred between the two. Like, one guy got everything, one guy got nothing, and it's like these two unstoppable forces that just go together and fight. It was just really entertaining, and there's a big turning point, too, that really makes that confrontation go into overdrive. And once that moment hits in the movie and a lot of things unravel it gets super exciting but yeah overall I had a fantastic time it was a really enjoyable film I love the characters but there are some negatives of course and my first negative is the pacing primarily leading up to the third act it feels like the final fight between Dame
game and Adonis just kind of happened. There wasn't like a lot of build up to it. Like I would have liked a maybe like a press conference where they're both kind of crap talking each other. I know in the real world we get that a lot. Like imagine Conor McGregor's press conferences, the KSI versus Logan Paul ones, and a whole bunch of other big name fighters. Those press conferences are really what get you excited for their actual fights. And unfortunately they didn't have that in this movie, but I think it would have made it a lot better and led to that final fight a lot better too. Another thing that was unique but I didn't really like was uh, there was this shot in the final fight where it gets really anime style and what I mean by that is that they're fighting each other but then the audience disappears and it's just like the boxing ring and both characters are just swinging at each other and there's just nothing else happening in the background. It was kind of like an anime where two characters are just you know focused on each other and don't see anything else besides their target. So it was unique but I just didn't really like it all that much. For a big boxing movie movie like this I really wanted to see the audience reactions to all of the hits and blows so I appreciate what Michael B. Jordan tried to do in that maybe like one to two minute clip but I just personally didn't enjoy it some people might. In my last negative is I don't think they really utilized Jonathan Majors as much as they could have. I think he could have been in the movie for maybe another like 10-15 minutes to really get his presence felt. Now don't get me wrong like obviously you feel his presence like I said his performance was great and he was really menacing but I just would have liked to see a little bit more of him. Him. But overall, I had a very good time. This is definitely one of my favorite Rocky slash Creed franchise movies. I still think I might like Creed 2 a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure yet. I've got to rewatch Creed 1 and 2 to truly get my final opinion, but I just really enjoyed Creed 3 overall. I'm going to give Creed 3 an 8 out of 10. It's a really, really solid film. It's Michael B. Jordan's first movie that he's directing, and I thought he did a fantastic job. Definitely go see this movie in theaters, and if you can see it in IMAX, or maybe even D-Box with the moving seats. That's got to be the way to watch this. Like in IMAX with the sound and the bigger screen with the fight scenes, it's going to be incredible. And then another good option, like I said, is D-Box. Like imagine all of the punches and stuff and your chair is moving. That would be awesome too. But definitely go see this movie. It is worth seeing in theaters. If you have seen it, let me know down below in the comments what you thought about the movie. And also let me know down below what your Creed trilogy ranking is. I'm really interested to see if people really like this one more than the others or if they maybe liked Creed 1 or 2 more. Another thing I'll mention is that Rocky is not in this movie and they don't even mention his name which I thought was a little bit weird. I know there was a lot of uh, drama behind the scenes with Sylvester Stallone basically saying he didn't like the direction it was going and uh a whole bunch of drama really but I thought they would at least mention you know like oh he's with his family or something but they literally didn't say anything which I thought was a little bit odd but I am one of the people that don't think they need Rocky in all of these movies in order to make them feel whole like, like I think Adonis Creed is a good enough character to have his own story and not tie it to the old stuff some people really want Rocky in the new stuff but personally I don't think he needs to be in it but I did think it was a little bit weird that they never even mentioned his name but anyways guys that is my spoiler for review for Creed 3. Really, really solid film. Go check it out for yourself. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. But other than that, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.